Here, a story will be told of a school that was once one of the earliest schools in the district. This school has a rich history, from its humble beginnings as a country school teaching 19 pupils, to now, teaching over a thousand children. Greenbank State School has affected the wider Logan community in a positive way. Peter Jackson and Jack Slack, who ran horses, and Adam Moody, who ran Apple Tree Run, along with many others, originally settled in the Greenbank area. In the early 1890s, the old Greenbank station was being divided into sub-properties, and the locals decided to lobby for a school. In 1892, a meeting was held at the local post office. At this meeting, Archibald Jackson, the post officer, complained that the nearest school was five miles away, and his children had to leave at 7 a.m. only to get home at 6 p.m. After many financial and political problems, the school was finally built on land leased to the Department of Public Instruction for the modern-day equivalent of 10 cents for every 25 years by William Slack, Jack Slack's brother. The school was opened in 1893, and a total of 19 students were enrolled. First established as a provisional school, it became a state school in 1912. In the 1960s, the school began to expand very slowly until it, it became the school it is today, with many buildings an adventure playground installed in the 1980s which involved into four playgrounds and a preschool in 1993. Mrs. Sam Cross, Nee Eldred, said that her schooling was rather simple and remembers the flood. As soon as we got the rains come, it would flood. And the longest we'd been flooded in for was probably about a week and um, we'd have bread and milk thrown to us from one side of the, the bridge to the other because so you could survive on your milk and bread, you'd have the other bits and pieces. The current deputy principal, Mr. Ross Kelly, who has been working at Greenbank since 1989, said that the school was also very multicultural and always had been. However, the earliest mention of a non-Caucasian family enrolling in the school was in 1954. What effect has the school had on the community? On the 11th of July, 1893, the parents decided to hold a meeting which became the first PNC committee. For the next 116 years, they organised many fundraising activities. In 1958, the head teacher started the first Greenbank State School Project Club. Their first project was a pineapple plantation, and in 1963, they turned to beekeeping. The students sold this produce to raise money for school supplies. Also in the 60s, another community project initiated by the school was the local bus service. First, a ute was used. Then the school raised enough money to afford a proper bus. In 1973, the only local oval that was available was Greenbank State School Oval. The school let people use it, but eventually it decided to start the Greenbank Sporting Association. This organisation ran many fundraising events, and eventually they raised enough money to make a new oval. Other reasons the school has raised money include new buildings, the Oxley Creek Catchment Association, improving the image of the school, the community pool, the community environmental garden, and six students, all of which the community have supported. The community has also come together for the school, for example when the school was under threat of closure between the years of 1924 and 1926, due to the fact that there was another school in the area. The community organised many protest of efforts to ensure that the school would not close. Greenbank State School is a necessity in the community, bringing it together for important purposes, raising funds for it, basically taking care of it. Greenbank State School has had a positive effect in this community and will continue to do so in the future.